What's up YouTube? It's Jason from Tattooed Car Culture. We are talking about air ride suspension, more specifically, how to set your own ride height. I really hope you're enjoying the content of this channel. Please browse the page. I got a lot of dope rides I've covered in my unique build series, and I just got a lot more content coming. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Doesn't cost you anything, but it actually is free content for you guys. And if you hit that bell notification, then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video because I post weekly content. But at any rate, in case you guys are new to the bag world or maybe just uh, wanna know how I set my ride height, I get this question asked at least six times a week on Instagram. I know when I first got my car bag, anytime my presets got all messed up, I usually had to lean on a buddy or contact a, sh a local shop. And even though there are some really dope people that work at certain shops, like Air Ride Equipment, not all shops are, are that willing to help you. I am running Airlift Performance, but even if you're using AccuAir or a different brand that uses digital management for the air system, the principles that we're gonna be talking about today are all the same. As long as you can individually adjust each bag and then set those as a preset, it's pretty straightforward, guys. At any rate, enough with this intro. Let's bring her into here. So today we're gonna to be talking about air suspension and how to properly set your ride height. I'm doing mine on my 2016 Dodge Charger Scat Pack, but essentially what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is applicable to a wide range of cars. There's a couple things that we need to do first. All right guys, so first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your vehicle is in the run position. Your car doesn't have to be running. For this video, I don't wanna fight with my exhaust. I'm constantly talking over it, so I just have mine in the run position. Um, but you also want to make sure you have enough pressure in your tank. For mine, it's uh, 200 PSI is typically what the system runs on. So, you know, I have 190 PSI in the tank, so we're good to go there. You mainly want to make sure that both of these happen because you're going to be adjusting the pressures of each individual bag, you know, fine tuning the adjustments and the ride heights. So you just want to make sure that with your car being on, your compressors will automatically kick on and refill your tank if your tank starts getting low. So one thing I did with my car before I got my airbags installed is I took factory measurements from where the ride height was. If you guys didn't do this, maybe you guys just recently got bags installed. You know, the shop may or may not have taught you guys how to use the presets. Specific shops like Air Ride Equipment, they're really good about walking their customers through after their installs, but I can't say the same for every single shop out there. Or maybe you've just recently calibrated, you know, and lost all your presets. So as I mentioned, I took measurements of this before I put airbags on it. If you guys forgot to do it, you can take your same vehicle. For instance, maybe you have a Hellcat that just recently got on bag. Talk to a buddy that has a Hellcat or even go to a dealership. Take some measurements of a factory Hellcat so that way you know exactly what the factory ride height is gonna be. For me, I already know it's about four inches for my scat pack. So what you wanna do is you wanna measure from the top of the wheel to the fender. The reason why you don't want to go ground up is obviously you want to make sure that you're on a pretty stable flat surface but there's just too many variables you could have different pressures in your tire um, it could be sitting a little uh wonky if you will so just to eliminate that we're going to measure from the top of the rim to the fender so for us top of the rim to the fender is about four inches. That's also gonna be true for the back. I've already kind of set my ride height the way it is. That's why it's already pretty much dialed in, but I'm just using this as an example. So again, guys, you wanna just make sure you go from the center of the wheel, top of the rim to your fender line, okay? And that's going to give you your base measurement. Now you can do that, like I said, from a buddy's car that has the same platform as you. Um, but as long as you get that factory measurement, just kind of store that away and then we'll use that as a base. All right, so I also have my Bluetooth app connected. So if you have the 3P or the 3H digital management system, you guys should be able to connect to the app. 
Even if you have AccuWare, I think they have remote control digital management as well, but it's gonna be the same thing. As you can see, we're at 146 in the front and then 103 in the rear. If we go into the vehicle, you can see that it's identical. For the sake of this video, the front I'll do remotely and then the rear I'll, I'll just do by the uh, actual physical controller. It's the same thing, your, your presets will work the exact same. All right guys, so now that we've established that this is the factory ride height, I wanna go ahead and set that as my main preset. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the preset and then hold it. So for, for me, I want it to be the middle ride height preset. So I'm gonna click it once, it'll show me where it's at I'm gonna hold it. Now don't worry about the percentages. I have the height sensor. So in the height sensors, it shows you what the percentages are. But if it's the pressure system, it'll just show you what the pressures are. So again, it just says adjust height, hold preset to save. So here we could physically adjust each individual bag if we wanted to. I wanna go ahead and save that. So I'm gonna hold the middle button and now it's saved it. So let's say I double click my low setting. Right, so let's say I'm at my low setting and my wife needs to drive the car or I wanna just go back to, to factory. We're gonna go ahead and double click the middle and it goes right back to You can hear the compressors kick on, but essentially it goes right back to factory ride height. I just explained how to set the main ride height. Now we're gonna go ahead and set a lower preset, a preset that I like to drive around on. So this represents each individual bag. So I'm on the passenger front. So we're gonna drop the passenger front. And we do the same for the drivers. Now that we've dropped the pressure a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and double check that. All right, so we've dropped the front down substantially, so now we're gonna do the same thing for the rear. All right guys, so all we're doing is we're doing the same thing for the rear. So again, passenger rear, so passenger rear, let some air out, go down to about 75, and do the same thing for the driver's side rear. And again, guys, if you're wondering, the arrows, that's my height sensors. So on a 3H system, it actually shows you where your height sensors are. So even if my pressure is not exactly the same, I'm just kind of going off of the pressure and the height sensors. If you just have a pressure system, that's okay. You know, again, we're just doing this, you know, together to, to give you a visual. But if yours doesn't have the arrows, that's okay. It's because you probably just have a 3P system. Again, we're really just taking the guesswork out, and that's why we're measuring all four corners. So right now I'm about 73, 74 pounds in the rear. We'll go ahead and do a measurement. So that's good. That's about an inch and a quarter drop right there. So as you guys saw, I mean, the back's about an inch and a quarter drop. We'll go to the front. Front's about three quarter. So we just wanna look 
it's definitely squatting a little bit more in the rear. It's kind of hard to see from this perspective, but we'll just go down a little bit more in front. So that looks pretty good to me. That's riding about an inch and a quarter low. We're obviously gonna check the same thing from this side. All right, I'm happy with it. All right, so I would say that looks pretty good. Again, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but it's pretty low, um, it's about, it's roughly about an inch and a quarter drop. So that's what I wanna do, cause again, as I'm driving, I can always drop it down. When I'm cruising into car shows or something, I'll usually drop it a full like two and a half inches, you know, basically where the fender's rubbing right on the tire. Cause again, you don't wanna drive that low all the time, you know, especially if you're already kind of tucking it's gonna limit your steering ability. That's the one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna set your ride height so low where the front tire is actually tucked up in the fender well, and then that way when you go to turn, you're gonna damage your fender. So I like to do about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half drop. So now that we're in here, we wanna save this as a preset. So just like our app, we're gonna go ahead, choose the preset option. Again, you have a couple different options and I'll go through these here in a minute, but I wanna set this as a preset ride height for low. So I'm gonna essentially double click it, guys. So I'm gonna click it once, and then I'm gonna hold it down to, to set it. And as you can see, it brings up the percentages. I'm not too worried. I mean, I pretty much nailed the, the front percentages. They're both the exact same. The rear, it's just slightly off. So if I wanted to, see, I didn't do anything. It just went away. So we can just do that again. and it brings up the percentages again. So now you can manually adjust it. So for instance, the rear is at 36.5 in the passenger side. So let's say I wanted to bring that rear down. I'm just gonna click it a couple times. Let's say I bring it down to, let's say 35.5. And then the, the driver's rear, let's say I bring that up to 35.5. All right, so let's save it. So I'm gonna hold it and then preset saved. And see, it's pretty close on pressures. As you guys saw the percentages, I mean, my, my passenger rear is at 77 and my driver's rear is at 79, but percentage wise, it's the same. So again, don't get too hung up on that. If it's just pressures, you're not even gonna see that percentages, you're just gonna see the pressure. So this is my preset low. So again, if we wanna go back to the factory ride height, like let's say my wife is driving the car or you just didn't wanna to have to worry about anything, just double click the, uh, the other ride height. Now the car automatically adds the pressure accordingly. And so again, you, you guys can go through this and set this to your heart's desire. Some guys will have the low setting to be like car show setting. Again, kind of what I talked about before, when you're cruising into a show, um, some guys will have this to be their very, very lowest setting. Again, their pro the problem with that is, is if you get wrapped up in the moment and you go to like leave the car show or let's say you're pulling into a spot, because it's very rare. I don't know how many car shows you guys go to, but it's very rare that it's just a straight line, right? A lot of times you're having to zigzag through cones and parking spots and that's the worst thing that you can do is drop it to this lowest setting so your tires are tucked up underneath the fender and then you go to pull into a parking spot, you're saying, hey, what's up to your buddies or whatever? And you go to turn the wheel and you just crunch your fender. So um, again, use caution when you're setting your presets, guys. For me, I do the lowest setting to be a drivable setting. I do the middle to be the factory ride height, the top one. I usually do that as like, uh, oh crap, these roads suck type of thing where it's like four by four mode. The other two that I have, the top one I have to where it just lifts the front of the vehicle up 
and the bottom obviously is air out. So if we double click the bottom and hold it, So that's my my air out option if you guys want to change this it's fairly simple to go into the menu you're gonna hold down the airlift button and the button right below that so we're gonna push that simultaneously so again the, the middle preset and the low preset so these two buttons we're gonna press simultaneously and then by doing that that gets us into our menu option to navigate um, you just use the preset buttons up and down. So there's a bunch of different options in here that you guys can go through. The first one I wanna show you, we're not gonna go through the entire menus in here, but the display, you're going to click that. So you're gonna click the airlift performance main button. Here you have brightness, brightness sleeping, sleep time. Here's the all up button. So this will change the car on what it does so right now if i go into my all up button as you can see it's front up so for me as i'm driving if i'm about to go into a gnarly driveway or i see you know just at a really steep approach angle i can hold the all up button and then it will just lift the front now you can also change that to all up so meaning if let's say you had all three of these presets taken up by specific ride heights you could use your all up button to raise the entire vehicle. Um, again, if you were on like a rough road or whatever, we're gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna, I don't need to save this because it's already on front up. So we're gonna click the back button. We're gonna go to the all down button and same concept. This is gonna, for me, I have it on air out, which airs the entire car out. But again, you have several different options. You can have this as, essentially another preset you can have this as where you just do your front down uh, so it's like a stink bug um, and then you also have all down so i have mine where it completely empties out the bags completely air out so um, again we're not going to go through all these menus but i just wanted to show you guys that's how you um, that's how you get into it so again just as a recap you're going to push these two buttons simultaneously that brings up the menus just go into your display menu go down here and this you can change your all up and all down button additionally since we're talking about this i just click the back button we're going to go down here to operation and then this is also where you have rise on start and there's other different settings in here but if you, if you acknowledge the rise on start i have mine set to off because i don't want my vehicle to automatically rise up when i start it because um, sometimes i'll just start my vehicle to get the ac running so again just letting you guys know this is how you get to that if your installer had disabled it or maybe you disabled it and you don't remember how to change it all right guys so now that we've covered the basics and you understand that it's a good idea to set one of your presets as your factory ride height can't go wrong with that now that you guys understand the basics of not only the bluetooth controlled app but also the main controller inside the vehicle have some fun experimenting again just be cautious guys if you're riding super low which looks great in rolling shots for photographers just make sure if you have that as a preset that you make sure that you don't turn your wheel one way or the other um, if your tire is tucking okay i know too many friends that have crunched their front fenders after just getting their car bagged because they get all super stoked that they can ride super low around town obviously forgetting so just a word to the wise guys i'm now going to just show you this kind of an action so that is my highest preset i'll now go to to the factory ride height option so we'll double click the middle button so that's essentially factory now we'll go to my preset low so i'll double click that So that's essentially what I drive around on pretty much on the regular basis. So again, my preset low is right around 100 and then about 75 in the rear. But again, I actually bumped that up a little bit because I'm about 215 pounds. So when I ride in it, I actually bumped the top 
up a little bit to like 115, 120. And then the bottom, I'd bump around like 85 to 90 because again, guys, this is with no weight in the vehicle. So for all intents and purposes, I just wanted to show you the basic operations. And then the bottom is my favorite, which is the air out. I just love the way that she looks all aired out like that. At any rate guys, I hope you guys found this video useful. Again, this is on my Dodge Charger Scat Pack platform, but the principles and concepts stay true to all digital management systems. Maybe you have AccuAir and you can't get a hold of the shop that installed it and you have all these presets that are all wonky and you don't know what to do. I guarantee you can find the manual online, but it, the, the concept is gonna be the same guys. You're just gonna make sure that you're measuring each corner i do it with a tape measure set your presets accordingly and then you're good to go so again i hope you guys found this video useful share this video with a friend if they're on air um, or come back to this if your system wigs out and you can't remember how to set your presets leave a comment into the descriptions if there's another topic you want me to cover um, or any other specific questions but enough about me rambling guys as always be unique stay humble and god bless peace